Salutations, everyone, and welcome to this very special episode of Tiger Talk. <laughs> yes. Today's tea of the week is a special double brewed bergamot tea imported from Hong Kong. Splendid. Now, I can't say I was ever a fan of dancing. <laughs> you know that. <laughs> yes. Anyway, I bring this up on behalf of our very own field correspondent, who are going to tell us more on the art of dance and how it's making its way into the halls of dance fans. Let's take a look-see. For over a hundred years, the United States has enjoyed the hollow tradition of the homecoming dance. This great dance is the favorite of many students. Uh, everyone knows this. Homecoming is both a chance for freshmen to become initiated into the school and and an opportunity for seniors to have one last practice dance before prom. We love homecoming, so we went to Ben on the streets to see how everyone at the school is preparing for their homecoming night dance. Okay, well, tell us. How do you feel about uh, homecoming this year? Are you excited? I'm not excited. I'm just ready to express myself through dance. You'll just have to wait. I love how there's going to be lots of ladies and lots to eat and lots of dances going on. It's been a pleasure. All right, Harrison, show me what you got. What are you most excited about at homecoming? Uh, dancing? Uh, I like when everyone gets all sweaty and, and there's a lot of sweat from other people on me. I really think you should go to homecoming. Uh, okay, I probably will. Whether you're going to homecoming to have fun with your friends or show off your moves, this dance is going to be one night to remember. From the cafeteria, I'm Ben Kaplan. Thanks for watching. Now how about that? Sensational. I just can't seem to stop my legs from dancing. <laughs> yes, what a marvelous sensation indeed. Now, Aiden, tell me what it means to peak. Well, peaking is to reach a high point, either of a specialized value or a certain time in your life. Let's take it to the halls of Danny to see how our fellow students and teachers have peaked in their lives. <laughs> <laughs> Simply ravishing. Peaking is considered to be when you reach the highest point of your life. For some people, peaking may be on the sports field, for others it may be in a career of their choice, or just any given accomplishment. Will high school be where someone's peak occurs, or will it happen afterwards? When do you think you peaked? In high school. Is there a specific moment? Freshman year at homecoming. Yeah, touch football recess. Uh, Master Honey's history class. <laughs> when he got these. <sighs> Michael Scupo, when do you think you peaked? Eighth What's grade. <laughs> AP psych teacher Mr. Spears thinks that we should always be striving for more accomplishments. You should definitely not be striving to peak now. If you peak now, there's, you have nothing left to look forward to. You don't want to do that to yourselves, no. You don't ever want to peak. You want to try to always be pushing further and trying to get better at whatever it is that you're doing. Do you think you have peaked? And if so, explain this. Oh yeah, no, I've definitely peaked. It's over for me. This is, I'm on, I'm on the slow decline. <laughs> But I think there's other aspects of my life that I haven't peaked in, in terms of um, fulfillment and happiness. Like, I don't think that I've peaked in that sense yet. I don't think that I've peaked in terms of uh, my career, like who I am as an educator. Um, I don't think that I've peaked in terms of my ability to understand um, new topics and concepts and things. Yeah, once you think that you've peaked, then what's left? Keep in mind success is a long-term goal. You never want to peak too early, or you won't end up with one of these. From the back parking lot, this is Paul Gagley already recording. Yes. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we've come to our last story this week. Ooh, ooh. Ah, yeah. Now, Drew, I don't want you getting emotional. Oh, <laughs> shit. I wouldn't. Uh, being late. We have a story on that, yes. <laughs> There are a lot of things that take away from our learning potential, but no action is as disrespectful as tardiness. Tardiness is not only detrimental to others and yourself, but also puts a heavy amount of students behind the bars of a Saturday detention. 
To understand the wider implications of this rather disturbing issue, we interviewed Mrs. W. So how many people on average a day are late? Well, for example, today there were 22. How big of a problem is it at Daniel Hand? I would say it's a big problem with the kids coming in late. Biggest issue would be that they don't come in with a verification from a parent. It takes more time. So if they know they're going to be late, have a parent call in advance or come mm. in with a note, it expedites the process a lot quicker. If school was to start later, it would have an effect on students? No, no. <laughs> I don't. Only because I just think human nature, just mm -hmm. even if we have to be there at 9, we're still going to run late. We wanted to understand the psychology of a person willing to commit such a heinous act. So we went to the front of the school to try and catch those who would dare to commit such a crime in broad daylight. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're here staked out outside the school behind the bushes. We're going to find some of these late kids and we're going to understand why they would do such a thing. Here we go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, hey it's time to talk. Why are you late? It's time to talk. All right. You just like keep rest for a sec. Yeah. Why are you late? Slept in. <laughs> boy, 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 get back home. Keep you going. This is Ryan Vola right here. Ryan Vola, this Ryan is Vola. Tiger Talk. This is Tiger Talk. This is Tiger Talk. Why are you late? Why are you late? I'm not late. I don't have a first period. Yo, are you late? Yo, why are you late, bro? I woke up this like. I woke up really late. I woke no up excuses. At, it was seven. 15 and I didn't feel I like my long showers long showers so I got to take a really long shower uh -huh. and then I got up and I didn't have any I didn't have any moose so I had to go use my sister's one hour later that took a big chunk of time get to class right. yeah okay. <laughs> good one reporting live from our stakeout this is yours truly Liam Gottwick and Crusher Westfall reporting Just don't be late kids oh. and we're back <laughs> but as quickly as we come, we must go. Ah, oh, yes. Until next week, Daniel Hans. <laughs>